What is up guys? Jordan is right here. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream your Xbox to your um Mac. <laughs> now you don't need um boot camp, so this won't require any Windows ISOs or boot camp, so really it's all just one software. Um so first off, what you need to do is buy a freaking Xbox if you don't have one. Just kidding, you don't have to. But I mean, if you don't have a Xbox, you can just you can always use a PS4 um, remote play. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's real easy. Just yeah, that's how easy it is. So first off, you need to do is you're going to um this website called OneCast. So I'm gonna look up OneCast. So like. Just look that up and then go right here to one cast and it should all right wait a minute all right here we go here we go so you can see right here stream your Xbox one games to your Mac and play from anywhere with access to your home network now you do need a network which I'm using my internet right here um, or my hotspot which is really good actually it's actually really good but you do need um a tv so you can like edit some things on your xbox so yeah <laughs> but first you're gonna go to the free trial which i have right now i don't know if i might buy it i'm just probably gonna keep on getting free trials until um until or actually I'm just gonna keep on pressing the free trials until 14 days later I'm probably gonna have to do it again this doesn't need any email so that's a good thing or I think for Xbox account yeah but first you're gonna press the free trial if you want so you can buy it right now so you won't have a friggin um wait 14 days or something so press the free trial and you so right here, you click here to download it. I already have it, but let's just download it anyway. It should take like a minute for me. So, yeah. Alright, guys. When that's done, you should have an icon that looks like that. Oh. <laughs> Finally, it's finished. So, what you need to do, and when the application's done, you're going to press and open it. So, like, press that. It's going to open it. And it's gonna add like a little thing on the side right here. You could just throw that in the trash. Authenticate right here, but I already have it right now, so I'm just gonna delete that with the with sorry finder. I'm gonna delete that right now. Real quick. I don't know why I was trying to start Epic Games because I really don't care. Now now let's go to the Xbox. So turn on your TV. So you actually do need a Mac, but turn on your TV and turn on your X Xbox for the settings. All right, guys. So I'm on my Xbox right now. So what you need to do is you're gonna go um up here to your icon thingy, or I don't know what that is, but your um profile right here. Now go to now go to your settings and press settings, and now you're gonna go to um down to performance go to xbox app connectivity or connectivity now it, it should be right here and i'll put it right here so yeah which i have my account connected now there's a reason why you need to put it on profile sign in on the xbox um because um well i'm gonna show you in a minute so i'll be right back installing and stuff now go to your Mac now and you're gonna have to sign in to your account. So I signed into my account on my exit box. And you can also change some stuff. Um menu local IP address or when network I don't know what these are. I don't know what this is. It just yeah. But um if you really have a good internet you can just go right here very high I'm just gonna use high since it is default and it's actually really good with high medium you can if you have very bad internet low you have very bad internet but um yeah so I'm just gonna keep it high so if you people have like maybe five megabyte internet it should work on high so yeah 
if you have a 2.5 area, I would say put on medium, or it should, maybe it maybe it'll work on high, but who knows. Um, so now let's put this back up, and now on your Xbox, make sure you're connected to this account, which I am. Now you're going to press connect. Now make sure your Mac is connected to the same internet as you are on the Mac. So on the Mac, I'm connected to Jordan Salaya, and on the... Xbox, he, um, it should be connected to um, Jordan and Celia, so yeah. So now you're going to press connect, and here's all the magic that happens. Boom! It works really good. Now it should take you in this, or it should take you in this right here. Um, so yeah, but you can just press right here so you can have fully screened. And this is actually really good to make live streams on YouTube or even, um, or even, um, uh, let's see, uh, um, recording. So, yeah, if you like, want to do gameplay on a game, so say, like, I did probably Fortnite, then, yeah, so let's do a Fortnite video. So, let's. So let's use Fortnite right now because that's the most popular game, of course. So let's um, you can play some Fortnite on here if your Mac is really that bad at playing Fortnite. My Mac is really bad at Fortnite, but it's just really good at making good videos. And oh God, what's wrong going on? Oh, it needs something. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> well, the uh, yeah. So you can like do anything on here. So I'm going to go to TV right here. I'm going to press on TV. Now, if you didn't know, you can connect anything. So you can connect your PlayStation, but um, you can already record with the um, remote play. So I'm just going to put in my Switch, which is already connected. Now I'm going to put my Joy-Con on Now I'm gonna put my joy cons to the little grip. Now turn on your your switch. And it should recognize it. So now you can just play your switch on here too, which is kinda crazy because there's not really that much software that you can connect to your switch. So that's a good thing. And now you can play another Fortnite, which is cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is a video. You can also wait, go back. You can also record on here. Oh, not record. You can also record. I mean, like uh, you can also charge up your battery. So mine's at 97. Since I was playing some Splatoon. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.